So today I'll be showing you how you can download every single song that is available via Apple Music on your device. So there are many tutorials on YouTube that attempt to do this and all they do is they tell you to go into settings, music, and then turn on automatic downloads. And all this does is it'll download every song that you add from that point forward and it won't download the music that you already have stored in your Apple Music account. Now unfortunately Apple doesn't have a download all button like Spotify does. It would be really nice if they could add that maybe in iOS 11. But for example if you recently restored your phone or you upgraded to a new phone you may notice that all the songs that were downloaded on your other device are now only available in the cloud uh, on your new device or your recently restored device. So there is a way to uh, download every single song. Uh, of course if you want to download new songs that you add you can just turn on that automatic downloads function. But if you want to download songs that uh, you added in the past, I'll show you a way so you can easily click one button and it will download every single song. So to do, to do this, you do need a computer with iTunes. It doesn't have to be a Mac, it can be a PC also, but you do need the latest version of iTunes. So let's jump over to my desktop and I'll show you how you can do it. Okay, so now we're on my desktop. All you have to do is open up iTunes and then you should see your library right here. Click on File at the top left and then New and then Smart Playlist. And then instead of going through all this with you, I took a screenshot of my current playlist. Just match this box as you see it here in mine. So up here you'll have to click on this plus button and then change all the attributes up here as you see them in my settings. So change these to change this to media kind and this one to iCloud status and so forth as you see it uh, in my smart playlist settings. So uh, once you have this set up, just click OK and everything should go from there. And then once you have it all set up, uh, go back to your iPhone, uh, possibly kill the music app and then uh, reopen it again. And then your device should have uh, refreshed and you should see this new playlist uh, that you just created on iTunes. So let's go ahead and jump back to my iPhone. Okay, so back on my iPhone now, just kill the music app in the background and then reopen it. And then click on playlists. And then if it refreshed, you should see uh, the playlist that you named here. I named mine uh, Sync because I'm syncing all my songs between my devices. Click on that and then you should see pretty much every single song in your library uh, based on the order that you added them in. So up here at the top, you can see it says downloaded. And then if yours doesn't say that, it probably won't. Click on this three, uh, three dot little menu here and then click on download. Uh, because mine has already been downloaded, I don't see the button here, but uh, if it hasn't been downloaded, uh, you should see a download button in here. You can see mine says remove if I want to delete all the songs. But yeah, that's pretty much how you can do it. Pretty much what this playlist does is it will include every single song that is on uh, Apple Music and it will sync it all. And as you add new music to your library, uh, this will actually uh, update in real time and you should see those songs added too. So if you don't have that option checked in settings under music, uh, if you don't have automatic downloads checked, uh, this will take care of that for you no matter what. So uh, when you add new music and all the music that you have added previously, uh, once you have set up this playlist and hit download, it will download every new song that you add. And uh, as I said before, it'll also download the songs uh, that you had on your Apple Music account previous to you doing this. So hopefully that all made sense. If you're having any problems, tell me in the comments below. I'd be glad to help out. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Drop a like if this video helped you out. My name is Mike, and I'll see you in the next video.